Hi there, Mark Nanakoven from Trend Micro Research, and I want to talk to you about the concept of lateral movement. And the reason why I want to tackle this today is because I've had some conversations in the last few days that have really kind of hit that idea bulb that people don't truly understand how cyber criminals uh, get away with their crimes in the organization, specifically how they launch their attacks. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't to blame on defenders, this isn't to blame on the general public. I'm going to go with Hollywood's to blame a little bit here because when we're watching movies in Hollywood, inevitably, you know, the hackers in their dark hat and with no lighting in the ground, you know, underground, Lord knows where they find these places to hack from. Uh, and they are attacking um, directly through. You see a bunch of text go across the screen and they penetrate through the first firewall, through the second firewall and into the data. Um, that's not how it works at all. That's ridiculous. It's absurd. It makes for interesting cinema, uh, just like the red code, uh, green code in CSI Cyber, but it's not a reflection of reality. And that's a real challenge because because a lot of people don't have the experience of working with cybersecurity or working in cybersecurity. So their only perception is what they see uh, either through media um, or you know, TVs, movies, books, or if they happen to run into somebody uh, in the industry. So there's an overwhelming amount of sort of information or misinformation, um, not even misinformation, just storytelling um, that tries to make it far more dramatic than it is. Well, the reality is cyber criminals are out for profit. We know this time and time again. Yes, a bunch of nation state stuff does happen, but the vast majority of you are unaffected by it. Same with there's a massive amount of script kitty just sort of scanning um, random people with random tools that are just seeing what they can get away with. Uh, and again, if you have solid automated defenses, that doesn't really impact you. What does impact you is the vast majority of organized cybercrime who are out to make a profit. Um, Trend Micro had a great series and continues just have a great series on the underground, the digital underground, that shows just how deep these profit motivations go. This is very much a dark industry. Um, and with that in mind, uh, we come back to the concept of lateral movement. So if an attacker um, breaches into your systems, whether they come in like a fourth of all attacks uh, do via email, uh, whether they come in directly through a server compromise, which is about half of all uh, breaches according to the Verizon Data Breach Investigation Report, or one of the other methods that um, is commonly used, then they start to move around within your network. That's lateral movement. We talk about northwest uh, traffic within a network, which is basically inside the network to outside of the network so to the out to the internet and back east west is within the network itself most defenses traditional defenses worry about that north south not enough worry about the east west now that's breaking down finally we are getting rid of this hard perimeter you know it's mine i defend everything inside and realizing that this is actually how cyber criminals work is that once they're inside they move around so we need to defend in depth and have really great monitoring uh, and protection tools within our networks because of this challenge of lateral movement. So let me give you a little easier to digest analogy. Um, most of us uh, in a home have a grocery list and maybe once a week, maybe twice, we head to the grocery store and we try to get everything we want off the list and then we come back. That's just makes sense. That's how we do it, right? Um, you would never think of going, okay, item number one on the list is ketchup. I'm going to drive to the store. I'm going to get ketchup. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to come back home. I'm going to look at item number two on the list. Well, I need a loaf of bread. I'm going to drive back to the store. I'm going to buy a loaf of bread and I'm going to come back. Then I'm going to go to item three and I'm going to go and I'm going to come back. I'm going to, that's just ridiculous, right? That's absolutely absurd. And cyber criminals agree. Once they've driven to the store, they're gonna buy everything that they need and everything that they see as an opportunity, right? They're really susceptible to those end cap, those impulse buys, and then they're going to leave. This is how they attack our organizations. We know that because uh, the average time to detect a breach is around 197 days right now. And that stat fluctuates maybe plus or minus 15 days for the last decade. We also know that it takes almost uh, three, it takes two and a half to three months to actually contain a breach once you discover it. And this is the reason for all this is lateral movement. Once you're in as a cyber criminal, once you've made a headway, once you've gained a beachhead or a foothold within that network, you're gonna do everything you can to expand it because it's going to make you the most amount of money. 
What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Hit us up on social at Trend Micro, or you can reach me directly at Mark NCA. How are you handling lateral movement? Uh, how are you trying to reduce that? How are you looking for visibility across all of your systems? Let's continue this conversation because when we talk, we all get better and more secure online.